Welcome everybody, today we're going to take the videos that are uploaded and displayed on the index page onto their separate page, right? So this episode is going to be a little bit weird since we will need to move a, quite a bit of stuff around but essentially think of this episode as we're just laying the foundation for future work, right? So we just need to sort of steer the ship in a different direction, okay? So let's jump into Writer and create a new page where we will be able to display the tricks. Okay, so I will leave a link in the description for the documentation about routing in Nux.js. So you should be able to figure this out on your own. But essentially, uh, if we create a tricks directory in here, we should be able to create a view component that is basically going to be dynamic re dynamically resolved based on the route value. Okay, and we, by specifying that it is dependent on a route value, we prefix it with an underscore, okay? And uh, primarily it's just going to be a trick name and uh, it's a concept called a slug, so URL slug. So you can go ahead and, uh, what's it called? A Google for that and see what that is as well. I'm gonna try to leave a link in the description. So let's go ahead and create a component called underscore trick in folder tricks, okay? So what, what's going to happen here, right? Uh, we're going to have a tricks or rather, let's say we're, we have navigated to a trick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to display a parameter called trick. Okay. So this folder right here, basically, uh, let's just quickly put this in its own element. Uh, right. So uh, this folder right, uh, right here, tricks basically says, that we can now navigate to tricks and uh, the underscore trick basically says we can now put anything here and uh, this is a parameter id right so the underscore is what decides that if there is no underscore that means it's not a variable it is rather a concrete route okay and uh, the name uh, relates to whatever follows the underscore okay so trick underscore trick and trick in the parameters okay one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of that name because it serves no purpose here. And uh, yeah, basically, if this changes, we go to a different trick. So one thing I don't want to do is have my users read the URL and uh, ha I, I would have IDs there. So that's something I don't want to have. Uh, so what I will do is I will change my IDs from being integers to being str strings for my tricks. OK, so. Uh, let's go ahead to our models and I will what I will do for the base model is where we have the ID here What I will do is I will specify a type key So type key is just some kind of type that we can specify for our ID to be for submissions that this should still be an integer and For tricks this should be a string now this is gonna break all kinds of stuff in our controller So let's go ahead and uh, get our tricks controller in here uh, what I want to do is first replace all the occurrences where we pass the ID with string. Okay. And uh, that actually means the submission as well. So not all actions, but rather files. So let's bring up the submissions and where we have the trick ID. Let's go ahead and make sure we're using string now. Okay. So when we delete uh, the ID is string, let's go ahead, copy string. Uh, when we check for the ID, here, let's go ahead uh, and say string is null or empty trick ID. Okay, so we're checking this in string format. Uh, for when we grab the submissions and for when we grab the individual trick, we also want to use ID string. Now, one thing here before we create the trick, what I want to do is actually set the ID, right? So trick ID and what I will use is essentially the trick name and I will just replace the spaces and I'll put dashes and I'll to lower this, right? So one thing about this invariant, don't take this as the concrete explanation. This is just my perception because I never bothered to find out what it is, but it's essentially, if you think of dates, like there is the American format and the rest of the world, where in the American date format, the month com comes first and then the date, and in the rest of the world, the day come first and then the month. So invariant culture just, or invariant, invariant culture just means that computer normalizes it. So if it's an American culture, it's going to go to a culture that can be uh, then derived to in all the other cultures, right? So it basically 
normalizes the value independent of some human culture's contribution to that value, right? Or if that value depends on some sort of culture. And uh, because of the, the, this to lower thing, what we want to do here, uh, there, there can be typos in the URL. So what we want to do is we, when we compare the ID, what we want to do is we want to compare invariant culture, ignore case. And we want to do the same for when we get the individual trick, right? So let's put this here as well. I'm going to drop this down on new line and I'm going to drop this where on new line as well. Whoa. Didn't want that there. And let's go ahead and drop this to list as well. Okay, uh, so uh, I think the tr the controller bit is most more or less done. So let's go ahead, close this. Uh, let's just collapse down the controller. Uh, what I want to do is actually open up the stores, go into the index page and this bit here, this uh, Nux server in it. Let's go ahead and just remove the content contents here because uh, actually let's just remove the whole thing because nothing is really happening there. And yeah, I'm, I'm a bit on the fence here. Let's, let's keep it there, here, but we're not going to do anything with it. Okay. What I want to do is in do initializations in the pages themselves. And we'll see if we will actually need to use this. Okay. So for the tricks controller uh, here on the index page, uh, we don't want to be grabbing the submissions. What we do want to use is the fetch function. So if you remember uh, that, we use the fetch function. Uh, let's make this async because we're going to making be making an uh, internet call. And uh, here we want to await on the store where we're going to dispatch an action to tricks fetch tricks, right? So we're just going to fetch all the tricks and they should display here. Now going to the trick itself, uh, this is where we want to uh, fetch tricks from a for a particular trick, right? So we're still going to be going to the tricks controller. Uh, right. So let's go ahead and grab these submissions because now in the trick page, we're actually going to be displaying uh, these submissions for this particular trick. Let's go ahead and put these all in one root div. And what I want to do now is actually have async uh, fetch function again. And uh, let's open up uh, the submission store and make sure that we can support this. So here we just fetch all the submissions. So let's say that we are going to fetch this for a trick and uh, let's supply a trick ID, right? And this trick ID is, let's go ahead and say that we're going to be going to tricks. Uh, let's use string interpolation here. All uh, right, dollar oh, sign, I'm not in C sharp land and uh, submissions, right? So we're going to be getting all submissions for this particular trick. And then we're going to be setting these submissions. Okay. So let's go ahead and just do the same thing. I will kind of grab this bit. Uh, let's open up uh, the trick page and uh, we are just going to get, uh, wait on this. We're going to go to the store dispatch, uh, disable, um, uh, dispatch and uh, submissions fetch or trick and the one thing i will i forgot on the index page here uh, we're not passing any parameters and i just don't want to forget to run it from root okay and this is true uh, and same thing here except here we're now going to be passing a trick id which we don't have yet but we will grab it it's essentially this route here but first of all just want to not forget to pass it as a root Right, so uh, we could obviously surface uh, this via Vuex, but not yet, right? Uh, let's go ahead and grab uh, the trick ID as well. So const trick ID equals this route params trick. Okay, so we get the trick ID, we pass it in the parameters, we fetch it, and this is this should fill uh, the submissions array. So if we go back to the index page here, we'll just grab map state put it into our trick page. And here we will grab our computed variables and we'll map state and we'll map it for our submissions. And what we'll do is we'll just grab our submissions, right? And now these should display no problem. So let's go ahead and create a trick, right? So let's go ahead and refresh this. Hopefully no errors, right? So this is looking good. And let's go ahead and upload trick uh, name i'll give this something reasonable like fork 
upload the video description do some combo and save so this hasn't refreshed our tricks here and we are now actually missing fetch submissions as well so there are things that we can do i don't really want to be refreshing anything uh, this should be a signal r notification from the back end that your trick is now available and this is only something that really should happen af after a moderation okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go actually into the video upload and i'm just gonna remove this because this is not something that we need okay and the result here i'm going to discard it as well all right so we're g we will have to manually refresh it but that's okay so uh, going back to the pages here, uh, let's go ahead and navigate to the root. Here we can see the only trick that we have. So let's go ahead and uh, close the stores in the index page. For every trick that I have, what I want to do is I want to set up navigation to that trick. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that, right? So not banner, but rather we want button. And... Uh, the easiest thing we could do is just use the two, right? So first of all, let's go ahead and say that the button is going to say T name and that we are navigating to uh, slash tricks slash TID, right? And yeah, should be good. Might get some errors in the console about keys and stuff like that but don't 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 listen all uh, right so we have the button let's go ahead and navigate to it here we go we get to jump on this page and uh, we get the video uh, with the information about the trick right so let's go ahead and refresh this and make sure that the server side rendering works it does so we can confirm that by going to the network tab and probably be one of the last times that we, that we do this so preview there it is i'm happy you should be happy as well. Uh, right, so we are displaying uh, the video, video with the trick information here. Let's go ahead and uh, st style this a little bit, right? Uh, so going to the trick page here, let's go ahead and give this a class D of flex. And uh, we will again use the justify center. Let's go ahead and see how this looks. So one thing, one of the most popular things that I, I've seen or I currently see is the content is going to be or usually is on the right and then there is some sticky part on the right. So content on the left, sticky part on the right. So this is what we want to do. We want to put stuff on the right, on the left. So the scrollable content is on the left and the sticky part is on the right. Don't get me on my left, uh, left and right. I don't know how to tell them apart, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's first of all, grab the part that I think should be sticky, put it on the other side here. And uh, I guess that should work. Uh, another thing that I will do is give this a little bit of X margin. So let's go ahead and say class uh, margin X2. And we're just going to do the same thing for our submissions here, right? Uh, so that should give us some margin. Cool. Uh, another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate many videos. So let's go ahead, create a div, uh, put our for loop in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a V4. And in here, we're just going to say X in 20. So we're just going to spin this 20 times and this should generate us 20 videos. And as you can see, uh, the trick information there, so which trick it is, cork, it's basically stuck at the, uh, well, it should be sticky, but it's stuck at the top there. So if you haven't used this feature of the flex box yet, literally just sticky. So what we want to do is basically name this somehow because uh, Beautify doesn't provide this uh, feature yet. So I'm going to call this trick information. Or rather, let's go ahead and just say that this is sticky. And uh, for the sticky part, since this is a class dot, uh, let's go ahead and say position. And we'll say sticky. And we will also say WebKit sticky. Okay. And then we want to offset it. So how far from the top does it have to be to be sticky? Right. So let's go ahead and... Uh, measure the nav navigation bar i can see it's a uh, 48 pixels so let's go ahead and say 48 pixels okay 
and we will have to do some adjusting for mobile sizes and stuff like that but we're gonna do that later so let's give this a refresh and if we start scrolling uh, nothing is happening right so this is my bad this is because you need to use align flex start on your original container for both of these so let's go ahead and use align start since we have justify center flex column you know and align start as i think uh, yeah so essentially here you see it okay if we go a little bit below and let's say 42 all right so you can see it will basically get stuck to the screen as soon as it tries to go past that point so again this is just part of the flex box if you don't know this uh, you do now so this will be it for this episode i'll cut it here to preserve the theme of the video if you have any questions leave them in the comment section do tell me how you're finding the series so far as well or if you would like me to change the pace or focus on some other things hopefully you understand if you ever worked on ui yourself it's a bit of a discovery process where you're like sort of going in the blind and feeling stuff out. So uh, this is what it's like for me before I start recording these, these videos where I go ahead and try a bunch of things and then try to zoom in on more or less the design I want to go for. But yeah, uh, don't forget to join the Discord server. I do a lot of announcements there and hopefully I'll see you in my other episodes.